As you can see from this clip, um, there was a man that I saw on the train. He was saying really rude and racist things towards an elderly Asian couple that was sitting in front of me. It was really random. I didn't even notice what he was saying until he got much louder. And that's when I was able to take out my phone and record him. He was standing maybe like three feet away from the elderly Asian couple that was really just minding their own, own business. They were probably like 70, 80 years old. Like they weren't really doing anything at all. And when they looked up at him, he became more and more aggressive. Like, what the F are you looking at? Like, I'm going to kill you. COVID is happening because of you guys. I need to learn Kung Fu or something. And I need to protect myself from you guys. Even though he pulled his mask down to say all of those things. So, you know, it wasn't really protecting himself. Um, and he just kept going for like five minutes maybe. Until um, what he said in the last clip where he took a step forward and that's when I got really scared and I didn't know what to do because he's such a big person and I'm really tiny and I know that it shouldn't play a factor in how I should react because I feel like I want to protect others but at the same time, I feel like I'm just not capable of doing that because like physically, I'm just much weaker and much smaller. And in those situations, I don't really know what to do. Sure, I can, you know, try to reason with him or try to talk to him and help him understand. But I feel like most of the time, you guys will get into like an argument and there's not really a solution that comes of it and I'm really glad that the other man stood up because there was not very many people in the same cart as us there was like another woman and um and one other man who did end up standing up and visibly putting his phone up to show him that like hey we're recording you so like stop um and then the first man removed himself from the situation it's really scary when things like this happen and i just feel so guilty sometimes because i don't know what to do and i don't know what i can do and all of these hate crimes are making me so sad and not just to the Asian community, it's like to all the things that minority communities have to go through in different times. And I just feel like in 2021, like we should be better than this. Yeah, I don't know what to really say because I just feel so bad and powerless in these situations. So if you guys know... If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. And I do talk about these issues with my friends and on social media and trying to bring awareness to all these issues, but there's only so much you can do through that and I don't know how 
to do more and especially when things are happening right in front of you I it feels as though your options are much more limited I just want everyone to be safe and to be kind to each other and I hope that we will become better Watch her struggle while well, I don't help. Because that's what best friends do. Watch them struggle. That's not what you. You can listen to it later. <laughs>
got some water. It's so nice. My hands feel so much warmer already. If you have a girl in your life, um, this, like these hot water bags will definitely be a really nice and cute gift. It's super thoughtful as well and can serve as a hand warmer or an abdominal warmer. You just put it like you just put it like this and you know. So comfortable. I highly recommend one of these. Yay!